Hey, this is Steve, and today we're on the road in the garage in beautiful Napa, California. Hi, this is Steve, and today in the garage we're checking out this killer 1957 Chevy truck with Jay. Jay, uh, what did you find this truck? How would you come about it? This is a true barn find. Um, working for a friend of mine in the country. He's a third generation rancher here. Um, got into his garage, our barn, and found this. It had 62,000 original miles. He uh, bought this in Oakland new, and we worked out a little trade, and next thing you know, it was in my hands. Cool, and so all you had to do is put a little turtle wax on it. It looks like this. That's a great job. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> so who, uh, this is obviously, you know, an incredible build. Who, Who's the builder on this truck? This is a seven-year build. Um, a friend of mine over in Santa Rosa, it's uh, Daniel Dorsett, Dorsett Speed Shop. Um, he went with my direction. We worked together on this and uh, worked out a lot of ideas, and this is what we came up with. Uh, it's just beautiful. Um, and this, this color is really unusual, too. Is this, a, is this a paint color from another car? Is this a custom blend? or This is a custom blend. Um, this is something that I worked on for months, and I figured out the color I wanted, and it's a one-off color. Nice, and then um, what are we using for a chassis on this thing? This has got the Roadster Shop chassis underneath it. It's got the forward rear end, um, adjustable suspension, and it was um, designed and made just for this truck to uh, adapt to the motor and everything else. Wow, it's really nice. I like the fact that you've kept the outside of the truck mostly stock. You know, you use the stock mirrors, you get the stock grill. It's just beautiful, but there's some subtle touches here and there. I noticed you, you modified the bed and the uh, the section that goes above the step also is modified. You dropped it a little bit to pull it down. Yes, um, we've done some modifications on the bumpers. Um, the bumpers have been pulled in. The back bumper has been flipped upside down and brought in so that the bumpers are in tighter. Uh, we removed all the emblems off the vehicle other than the V for the V8 on the side. Uh, everything else I think is pretty much really close to stock looking. We uh, cut down the rear or the rear a view mirror on that side using the same exact mirror to shorten it up to make it look smaller. That's nice. I noticed you uh, got rid of the vent windows as well, makes it look a little smoother. And then I, I can't stop looking at these wheels, man. These wheels are really, really cool. These are a one-off uh, shop rim that I had made, um, custom made. Uh, you'll notice that there's no lug nuts exposed. Uh, they're under a cap with a special tool to take them off to, a cap to access them. That's awesome. And then. Uh, Jay, I love the way this thing looks, but uh, I can't imagine how it sounds. Are you going to fire it up for us when you hear these pipes? You better, you better believe we will. Right on. Let's check it out. you could smell this interior on video it smells delicious it's just leather smell is fantastic I love this interior look at this uh, small diameter uh, looks like a like a uh, 57 Chevy or 55 Chevy passenger car steering wheel it's a small diameter blends in nicely it's like an I did it tilt uh, steering column custom console power window switches USB uh, nav radio is here uh, I like the use of the analog gauges, and this whole dash is very, very smooth and shaved, polished, air conditioning. It's very simple, tailored and elegant, and I can tell by the hides on this upholstery. These are high quality, thick hides, fold down armrests, these beautiful custom door panels. Headliner is just really beautiful material like a suede. Um, just well executed throughout, just very tastefully and it's a almost elegant in appearance. It's just beautiful, beautifully done. I love this. Now we've got to see what's under the hood. What's under the hood of this vehicle? Great. It's a LS3. Um, it's running about 435, 440 horsepower with the headers. Oh, let's take a, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That is killer. Look at this thing. I love the firewall, too, with these little... Uh, embossments in it and all these little areas right here. This is a nice piece too, Jay, this piece for the radiator. I just love that. Um, so when we built this, uh, the radiator was exposed with the Ron Davis radiator. So we designed a special piece, uh, fabricated it to go over the top and cover up the radiator. Um, 
if you'll notice in the older trucks they seem to have a cross brace system on underneath the hood we've had this all made um, all the metal work made underneath there to give it more of a solid look under there uh, really good stability how many horsepower are we running again um, stock is 435 and we've also got um, headers on it that have kicked it up a little bit so I think we're probably running 440 445 horsepower nice and this what, what training is in this it's got a uh, six-speed automatic in it. Oh, cool. And what? Uh, how about the rear end? It's got a Ford rear end, posi traction that uh, was put in when we had the chassis built. Nice. This is just beautiful. So well done. Just uh, clean and elegant. Just really well well done. I love the Chevrolet script on the valve covers too. It's a really beautiful truck. Hey, this is Eric. <laughs> We're going to be in beautiful Napa Valley, California. Check it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just whack to see someone like run in the yeah. shop. <laughs>